Health Safety Alert. We know many of you will be enjoying time at the beaches and backyard pools this 4th of July. Well, this morning, Safe Kids of Northeast Florida has advised them about protecting your children in the water. And it only takes a split second for tragedy to strike, and we have seen it happen so often in the last three months. Just last night now, a four-year-old girl drowned at a pool party. In fact, police say that little girl, Kiera Williams, was with friends of the family at the pool party, and, and a bunch of adults and children were around the pool when she went under. It's unclear how long she was underwater before others noticed and tried to unsuccessfully revive her. This happened at a home on Caprice Drive near 295 and Ricker Road, and that's where we find Channel 4's Ashley Harding. Ashley, it's almost gotten to the point where you've got to have somebody who's dedicated just to watching whoever's in the pool to make sure they stay safe, and that's their only job. That is true, Bruce, and that's actually one of the tips from Safe Kids Northeast Florida. Always have somebody just keeping their eyes on the water, not doing anything else, but we're here in that neighborhood. You know, taking a look right now, you can see it's all quiet this morning. This was not the case yesterday, though, as paramedics were here on scene trying to save that four-year-old little girl, but Safe Kids Northeast Florida says there are lots of safeguards that parents and homeowners can have in place. Take a look at this right here. They suggest when you have small children, they say pool fencing can save lives. That's a really big one right there. They also say having additional locks to pool doors can make a big difference. Now, they also suggest assigning someone to be the water watcher. That's what we were talking about a moment there, the water watcher during pool parties. Now, they say that this, this water watcher is the adult who sits by the pool, doesn't do anything other than keep their eyes on everybody in the pool. This needs to be a person who can swim. They say adults can take a uh, 15 minute, they can take turns every 15 minutes. They also say children must take swimming lessons. They really need to have lessons, you know, every summer. Okay. And they build on those skills. They teach them survival skills in the water. They teach them five basic survival skills that are important to really drill into them every year and then they build on those each year so they're building on their skills and then once they've got those down they're building on their strength and a good tip right here free swim lessons are available again this year for children from families who qualify based upon a financial need you know this is a two-week series of lessons offered by jacks parks and we posted all the information you need to know about this on our website newsforjacks.com. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, thank you. Now, according to our News for Jacks records, since April, seven children have drowned. This is in the past three months.